Hi, Tony. Uh, you're right with your comment that the, the movement isn't where we want it to be. Uh, it has it definitely improved. I checked that against the original video. So the circle that I've put on, the, the red circle on the screen here, what we're looking to do is when you swing the club back and the club's parallel to the ground, which it is about here somewhere, we're looking for both your hands and the club to still be inside that red circle. So as the club's swung away from the ball, your left arm has sort of moved away from your body. So it will actually be closer to your body. And of course, if your hand is at the bottom of that blue colored line there, then it would be in there. So your the feeling to you is that when you get to this point here, your hands will probably be about, um, you know, inside where that little blue circle is and the club head is gonna feel like it's sort of on the other side, almost on the other side of the um, the line there where that other blue circle is. It'll feel quite strange to you. And then from there, the, as the club swings up, it'll feel like the club, the shaft of the club is working quite steeply. So for the moment, you could actually really exaggerate that. But if you've got um, a, a way of checking whether it's a mirror or something like that, note where your hands are. So if you're looking back in the mirror, you would see your where your hands are at address. When the club gets to being halfway back, your hands should appear to still be in the same place. Now, they're not in the same place. They've moved back toward the camera a little bit. But as far as the height, they'll still be at the same height and they'll also be the same distance from your body. So your hands will feel like they're closer to your body. The club head will definitely feel like it's out um, away from your hands, like I said, just more toward where that larger blue circle is. Uh, it will feel quite strange when you start, but it'll certainly help with the balance of the movement. Now, when the club swings down from here, and this is, I guess this is probably uh, part two for us, the path of your hands should be roughly on this blue line here. So that by the time the club, the, your hands get down the blue line to where the blue line meets the green line, your hands and the shaft should be on the green line. Hope that makes sense. So hands should be working straight down the blue line. You can see they're working out above the blue line. And of course, that's gonna throw the club out toward the ball. Now you're doing a pretty good job of not really swinging the club a long way outside in. But of course, the, the challenge there is making that square uh, contact. Um, what I might do tomorrow, uh, once it's, it's raining here, once it stops raining, so tomorrow that'll be for me, I'll add in a couple of extra little things that we can do so that we can sort of tidy up that backswing path just to begin with. Once we get that, we get the balance of the club moving a bit better as you start back, that's going to make it a lot easier. Um, when you, like when you're next practicing, Shoot me through some footage of you feeling like you are really exaggerating the movement. So if you can remember where those blue line, uh, blue circles were that I had earlier in the video, um, if you feel like your hands are sort of matching those, so that we can sort of really get this, this will feel quite different to you. There might also be a slight change in grip pressure, but I'll use the video that I'll create tomorrow because that'll be much easier to demonstrate than just explain with words. So I'll get back to you um, in the next 24 hours just to um, talk a little bit about what we might try with hand pressure if just focusing on the, that first takeaway movement uh, doesn't automatically make the movement better.